In this video, we're going to look at how to make a simple yet good looking makeup flyer in Photoshop. This video is going to be very simple so you can follow us even if you've not used Photoshop before. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey everybody, Innocent here. Welcome. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. As always, all the files that I'm going to be used will be linked up in a link in the description so you can check it out. Let's get into the video. Now here in Photoshop, you're going to create a size, any size of your choice, depending on where you're going to use this particular flyer. But then I prefer to go with the A3 because that's probably the standard printing size. Or you can go with A42 if you want to. I'm decreasing my resolution because I just want to save space and to make this design go faster also. So I click OK when I'm done. I like using simple, very very simple colors. So I'm going to go with white, this color here and then the pink color right over there. So this is the hexa code of the color if you want to copy it out. And then this is the hexa code of the pink color that we're going to pick. Color choice is very important when you're designing a flyer. So first of all, I'm going to import in my model here. I just got a, a random model right from somewhere. So I'm just going to pick my model here and then I'm going to bring her over here. I don't want the whole of it to show. So probably I would want a part of it just like say here and then I'll place it around. You can go for your own model. Okay, next of all, I'm going to bring in a background. You know, I love plain colors. Sometimes when you bring in a background, it makes the design a bit nice, okay? So I'm going to drag this on top. So basically, this should have come first. But then whatever the case, we are still going through it. So that is it. I'm going to decrease the opacity of this particular background so that you just occupy just a certain portion of the design now next off i'm going on top of the model and then i'm going to draw a rectangle over there so i'm going to draw my rectangle over here and it's going to use this same color so because of the next size i just want it to be positioned at a very nice place that i can make use of it okay next off i would want another rectangle but then i would want it beneath of my model so it means it has to come under the model. So I'll pick my last layer over here and then I'll draw my rectangle right over there. So somewhere around here will be fine. Okay, so let me just squeeze my model a little bit and then drag it over here like that. Beautiful. And then I'll change this color to that particular color that we have over here so i'm going to drag it down a little bit like this so i'm going to shape this particular rectangle a little bit like this and then i'm going to go now i'm going to add a couple of more images to this particular test so i'll bring it on top of my rectangle over here and then i'm going to do that with the help of the ellipse tool here so what i do is i create a new layer and then i'm going to make the ellipse tool over here a very small one like that it can choose any color that it wants but then i'll give them some specific colors say this yellow here as time goes on and then we bring in the image you're going to change the colors but then this is for the start so i'm going to duplicate and then press ctrl t to transform this one so i'll transform it a little bit like this and then i'm going to change the color to the color white you know i told you I love simple colors. So I'm going to group these two and then call it the first group and then it's going to be right over here. Now let me squeeze it up a little bit because I'm going to add a couple of more to it. So I'm going to press Ctrl J and then duplicate this test and then the one beneath it, it is coming this way. And then I'll make a duplicate again. So the last one obviously, I'll drag it to this side. Now you can see that these are three good looking circles that we've made we're just going to import in our images into this one and then we're going to decide the color to be around it with the help of the image that we're importing so a quick one this is the first one the second one is right here and then this is the third one so we open the first one and on top of the first one i'm going to import in this lady right over here so i'll bring her to the side and then I right click and go to create clipping mask. 
so i'm going to right click again and rasterize press ctrl t and then i'll squeeze it out like this now i'm going to rotate it so that she can be at this side and she looks good on here we just want to show her makeup the rest doesn't really matter okay so from her outfit you can easily derive another color for the one at the edges okay so i'm going to pick something from here and then it blends automatically with it right so like you can choose it from this side and it looks good and then you click ok now we move on to the second one so we open the second one and then on top of that we're going to import in the second image right from here so this particular flyer design is for this lady right over here so i right click and then i rasterize then i'll right click again and go to create clipping mask i press ctrl t and then i'll transform her out till she fits exactly inside of the ellipse that we created so we want to show her makeup so there she goes so out of that we're going to derive another color for her so she automatically will go for the pink one and then i click ok and i'm good to go now we do the same thing for the last one the makeups are the important things you have to place emphasis on the makeup so you're going to double click over here and then we pick a color from a map and then it looks good right over there so we are done with our images these are the three images you can take your time to shape them and position them well the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add test app to this so the first test is going to be the heading of course so with that i'm going to make use of the old old test in photoshop that is Arial. so i'm going to use Arial, and then the color is going to be this particular color over here and then we're going to increase it up bolding it a little bit like that so her name is the lady's name is Fosia. so it's going to be Fosia's like that okay so we go to the toggle character here and then we would want to close the tracking a little bit so that it wouldn't be that much so we have it over here like that and i believe this one looks fine so you take your time and then you position it over here so we can close this up a little bit like that and then we make a duplicate of it by pressing ctrl j so we drag this down and then we're going to change the same test to makeup okay i don't know whether the makeup is spelled separately but then either of them there is a makeup so you change the color to this particular one over here and then you can keep it the same way to keep alignment or you can decide to shift it up a little bit to create some sort of nice typography over there so this is what we're having for now and then we go ahead and then we're going to add a lot of things to this one so the same test that we're going to use by this time around we're going to shift the rectangle here a little bit so that i can make space for the ones that i want to bring over there so basically what i want to write over here would be some services that a person renders so to start up with that i'm going to take my rectangle to and draw a nice rectangle here like a small one like that and then i'm going to change the color to black and then i make about three duplicates of them i think this looks so small so right over here i open it up and then duplicate and then drag it over here make another duplicate and then i'll drag it down over here so whether you're making services for graduation bridal matriculation any of them but then i'm going to use acrobat over here and then i'll change the font size to about 50 that will make a bit sense so and then the color is going to be black over here so you remember that we close the tracking but this time around we need it so we open it up a little bit like that and then we will position it over here so we're going to close it up a little bit and then these are going to make we are going to make use of these rectangles to make sure that it matches them so the first one will be here and then the second one will come down a little bit and then the third one will come sorry the third one here will come to this side so we have our makeup for matriculation and then we have one for bridal one for graduation so you position it over here and then you can just drag it to make 
make sure that your alignments are always on top notch for tutorials sometimes rush through the processes but then if you are working out on it in real time you just have to make sure that your alignments are on point so back to the issue i'm going back to my resources and then i'm going to employ in this particular makeup stuff over here i don't know what this one is called if you know the name kindly mention it up in the description so i'll bring it over here and it looks nice over there so on top here on top of this one what we're going to write is i'll make i'll make a duplicate of the graduation and blah 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 and then i'm going to change this one to the pricing okay if you have a long price list you, you have to make sure that you make room for all those ones over there so you drag it over here just like that so that is why basically i created this part or this particular space for testing so everything here is going to be testing so we quickly copy this particular test drag it over here to the down there which i think it's too big to take just this one so i think here we do and let me adjust my model a little bit okay fine so i'm going to edit this one to her contact so you can contact her here around kumase for your nice makeup over there and then i'm going to duplicate this one and that will be her social media handle of course her social media handle which is instagram she gave me instagram only so at rami underscore ella underscore links to that will be in the description also so i'll just take them over here one will be at the side and this one will be at the side so i'll just go in and bring in my color stuff that is the calling icon over here and then i'll transform it to be small bring it over here right click and rasterize right click again go to the blending options and then i'm going to set the color to white so that it will be very visible for you to see so i press ctrl t again and then i'll transform it a little bit smaller the more so you'll be here just like that and then the social media handle which of course will be the last thing on this video will be here too so we're going to single out the social media handle icon which is the instagram the only one that we have and then we take it over here and then we effect this effect on it or we copy this effect by holding the alt and dragging it onto it so that it turns white automatically like i said this is a tutorial when you are doing it you take your time to do all these things so after everything what we can do is we can select from the contact to the last layer that we brought in group them and call them the social media handle or social media or contact okay and then you can press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is in the center just like that and it looks nice over there finally i'll go back to my test over here these two tests the, the real one and then i'm going to add a just one effect to it okay so i'm going to select my ellipse tool and on top of that one i'm going to draw a nice ellipse over there and then i'm going to change the color to white i pick white from here and then i'll set the opacity to say 10 something like 10 and then it creates this nice effect the more you increase the opacity the more you are likely to see it so you can see 30 percent makes this look nice when you zoom it to the back you can see a sort of a reflection over there which makes the design look a bit nice over there what do you think do you think it is good with or without the reflection or this effect right over there so basically that's it i hope this video was helpful you can add up a little more stuff to be creative and do the best for a simple makeup flyer i think this one would go way better thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye